welcome back to the channel is here today we're going to be talking about three ways on how you can improve your impact position at home with cold weather upon us and it being winter there are many ways in how we can improve our swing off the course if you're already a subscriber to the channel welcome back always so grateful to have you and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification button. We post weekly golf tips just like this one to help you improve your game. I'm a firm believer of really working on your swing mechanics off the course. So when you're on the course, you can really just let muscle memory take over. So for the impact position, there are two key things that we need to remember. Number one, you want your wrist to be flat, preferably at impact. So flat instead of control. It's going to feel like a bow, but really it's going to be flat during the actual swing instead of a cupping move like this, which means there's going to be a nice forward shaft lean with the club. So tip number one. Put a credit card inside your glove. Now that you have it tucked in there, this is going to help you remind yourself. I have such a small pinky. Look how much space I have. You're going to practice at impact, keeping a flat wrist. So as soon as you start flicking at the ball, you're going to feel the card. So you want to come all the way up, and then make sure it's flat, and through. So not like this. See, I feel the credit card right there. It's going to be through. Tip number two, drag an alignment stick through your impact position. So through the impact position, we want to have lots of forward shuffling and for your hips to be in front of your arms. So this is going to be a really good way to make sure that you're not casting your arms and you're really using your legs to drag you through the swing. Go ahead and put your alignment stick back and you're just going to Use your hips and your legs to drag it through. As you can see, you're gonna have a nice C finish instead of having your head forward. That finish. So let's, we can try it again. So we're going to have our alignment stick over here and we're just gonna drag it through with our lower body. This will make sure that you have lots of forward shackling and you're getting through the ball properly. We can also apply the first tip, which is to keep your left wrist straight through impact. So we're not going to cut this. We're going to keep our wrist flat and also drag it through. Today's video is brought to you by the Live Green Sock. So we have two definitions for the Live Green Sock and on the course and off the course meaning. So on the course, you know, we want you to stay out of trouble and live on the putting green as much as possible. And off the green, we encourage you to always live eco-consciously and sustainably. This collection means a lot to me because This collection means a lot to me because each pair of socks keep out three plastic bottles from the environment. So 
but these are made with recycled plastic and also coffee grounds. The coffee grounds make the socks ultra soft. The third and final tip is to get your impact position with a chair. We want to make sure that our wrist is touching the chair, or it could be whatever you want using the wall. I'm going to be using a chair in this instance. At impact, we want to make sure that our wrist is touching the wall flat. And more importantly, we want to make sure that our entire left side of our hip is flat against the wall. So it's going to look like this. A lot of people lead with their arms and your hips actually go late. So it's important to know that the correct sequence of the swing is that the hips have to go in front of the swing. We want to make sure that the left side of our hip is flat against the wall. So if you do something like this, that's not correct. Come here and then left hip flat against the wall. So again, the two key things with having a correct impact position is having a flat wrist at impact and making sure that your hips slash lower body is turning faster than your upper body. If you can improve on those two key things off the course during winter season, during off season, you're guaranteed to have a much better game when you do get back onto the course. All right, folks, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope that these three drills really helped you improve your impact position. Again, all of this just takes time and effort. So if you just practice that off the course and off season, you'll really see a big improvement when you go back onto the course. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a comment down below on what areas of the game you'd like to focus on and I can make a video for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you don't miss a video. And we'll see you next time. Happy holidays.